Hey everybody, before we start this quick tutorial, just a reminder that you can become a supporter of the channel at patreon.com slash sgtech. If you become a patron for as little as $3 a month, you can receive 24 hour support from me on your customized questions in Excel, website design, anything you can think of. So check the link in my description below. Today we're going to learn a quick Excel function that is fairly new uh, as of 2019 to allow us to join two strings of text together. So here you can see in our example we have a column for first name and a column for last name and we have a column for full name. Now without this formula you would have to do some cutting and pasting or some retyping but we're going to use a new Excel function called text join to combine these two cells. So we're going to go into cell C2. We're going to type equals text join and then a parentheses like that. And now what we have to do is we have to state a delimiter, which means what is going to separate these two names. So in the case of first and last name, we want a space to separate because let me I'll do one uh, without the delimiter and then we'll do one with the delimiter so you state your delimiter inside of quotation marks so I'm just gonna do two quotation marks that means there is no delimiter I'm gonna do a comma and now we have to state whether we want to ignore empty cells or not we don't have any so it's not really an issue here. So we're just going to state true. And now we have to state our two cells that we wish to join. So I want to join A2 and B2. I'm going to close my bracket. Now what it should do is it should combine those two names in the cell. But because we didn't specify a delimiter, they're going to be right up together. Okay, and you can see that that is the case. And now if we copy that down for the rest of the cells, it's going to do the same thing. But that's not really what we want, is it? We want a space between the first and the last name. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to change this so that in between the two quotation marks, there's a space. Okay, that is our delimiter now. Okay, so there's the full formula equals text join per uh, quotation mark space quotation mark comma true and then our cells. So now we should get Steve Jones with a space in there. Just like that. We copy that down and there you go. So I'm going to go through that one more time quickly equals text join oops sorry I missed that up then our parentheses quotation mark a space for our delimiter quotation mark comma true comma a2 b2 close our parentheses and there you have it. Copy it down. Away you go. And remember, your, your delimiter can be anything. So if you wanted a dash to be the delimiter, you would do quotation mark, dash, quotation mark. And now you see it's de delimited, separated by a dash. So you can use whatever you want as your delimita deliminator in that case. Hope you guys enjoyed that brief tutorial on how to join two text strings together using the text join function. Any questions, leave them in the comments, but if you want faster response within 24 hours, go to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash sgtech. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.